What is it? Beer butt chicken. What's that? It's when a beer sits on a can, I mean a can, chicken sits on a can of beer. Uh. So. Sounds very good to me. It is, it's very good. What a Mary. Are you filming me? Hi. I'm awesome. Um, okay, so what happens is the beer works to um, tenderize the meat because yeah. it works like a broth. So what you do is you flavor the beer with whatever you want and then you stuff the chicken. You gotta open it so it doesn't explode inside the chicken. And you gotta stuff the beer as well. So you leave okay. half the beer in the can. It's not all wasted. No, you drink that. That's for drinking while preparing. So just drop them in there. It doesn't matter if they're with the skin or not because you're really not gonna be eating it. Just because that's worked now, okay? So just smash them so the flavor comes out. And then throw them in like that. Bay leaf and some lemon juice. And we're done. There you go. Okay, I got this when I was in the US. But you can get these anywhere. They pretty much now started to have them in the UK. Drizzle some um, olive oil. This is gonna be the rub for the chicken. Um, more lemon juice. Then, this is my lavender pepper. I actually get this scent from Maui, from my sister, from the lavender farm. It's amazing. Pepper, it's aniseed, it's lavender, and it's all mixed together. And it's just amazing. So just generously sprinkle about about a big heaping tablespoon mix. You can add garlic if you want, but because I'm going to be serving this chicken with garlic sauce, and if you've ever had my garlic sauce, about a head of garlic, um, one egg white, and about a cup of neutral oil that's been drizzled in slowly, about like a teaspoon at a time. It's called tung, serious garlic sauce. Okay, now get your chicken. Um, so just sprinkle some right, so salt. This is lavender salt from Hawaii. This is just la it's just pink salt. It's pink Hawaiian salt. It's a salty why is, why side. Is it, why is it pink? I don't really know. I just, I just know that we get pink salt from there. All right. But is the, is the lavender uh, pepper from Hawaii? Yeah, it? it's from the lavender farm. They make their own. There you go. <laughs> It really is just absolutely delicious. Okay, let's do it. So just well, you have it. to have a very tall oven to fit that in. Yeah, so I just basically, so you saw me, I just removed all the other racks. And now, we're just gonna bathe it in this lavender pepper marinade. It's just gonna be. And so the skin comes out really, really crispy just, on all sides and extremely tender on the inside. I mean, you're never, you really get extremely tender chicken breast. And you know, chicken breast is usually tough. Oh. Chicken, I let the chicken rest for about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I just it's love sizzling. it. Why are you sitting there looking at you? Do you hear the sizzling? <laughs> I mean, just imagine how that skin is going to taste. Nice, crispy. The way chicken skin should taste. And for those people that don't eat chicken skin, something's wrong with you. All right. So there's about three cups of chickpeas in there, and roughly a cup of olive oil. I'm just gonna drizzle it in there. And then about a tablespoon of cumin. Might need more. And then garlic. Um, some minced garlic, if you want one or two minced cloves of garlic. And then just sprinkle it with some salt. Yeah. And just add that all. Just let it get warm. All the flavors to sink in. So just pound it, just mush them up really randomly, just in a chunky, rustic way. Half, uh, there we go. Just 
quickly toast them. Go. There you go. Should be ready. Your vanilla shoot. It's just divine. It's one of my favorites. Mmm. Mmm. Ha. Good. Poor, poor chicken. Strange Texan cowboy. You don't really carve it, you just get inside it. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. The best chicken officially in the world. It's amazing. Oh, Love it. Mm. Oh, God. Yummy. Food heaven. You're getting it all over the place, though. Okay. Okay. Look how tender that bone is. Just mm. a bit. Well, it's had a beer oh. can stuck on his ass. Oh. It does that to you. <laughs> now, take the skin. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a bit of bread, since so we would normally be using our hands. The knife and forks, I think, are just for. Uh, this particular video to make it somewhat uh, sophisticated, but we tend to eat with our hands because it's ace. And it says we'll wash it up. And guess who does that? Can I get the spoon? That'll be me. I'm on your bloody camera. I hate pictures. I don't. Listen. I'm filming now. You're so vain, <laughs> but you think this camera's about you. You're so vain. But you think this camera's about you, don't you, don't you? <laughs>